Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm standing here in my CEO office. Now CEO offices are discounted this week, as are the special cargo warehouses, and the special cargo warehouses sell missions are paying double money. So I'm going to run you through probably the best way to source crates if you are doing it solo to maximise the amount of payout you're going to get. First you're going to need to buy an office, so open up your internet, come over to, uh, where are we, Dynasty 8, I was <laughs> hovering right over it, and then come up to the top here and filter out offices. And there are only four offices you can buy. Now, if you're like me and you've got the Criminal Enterprises um, starter pack, not that one, this one here, the Maze Bank West, you'll have for free. Yeah, that's not too bad. If you've got it for free, grab it. If you don't, well, maybe grab it anyway as well because it is discounted. It is the cheapest also. Uh, and all of these are pretty much cosmetic, except your gun locker. That just lets you tidy up your weapon wheel. If you've got one elsewhere, you probably don't need to buy it here. And I wouldn't buy it here. No, it's probably one of the most expensive. The safe doesn't really do anything. Accommodation is the one you want to get. It'll allow you to spawn here. So once you come in, you can also purchase um, a 60-car garage. I can't show you on this one because I don't own this one. But I come across to mine here. I've got the, uh, not that one. I've got the Maze Bank Tower, which is the most expensive. And I'm just having a look at the... Yeah, okay. So the garages aren't discounted at all by the looks of it. So if you can afford a garage, grab them. You can, you can buy up to three floors that fit 20 on each. So that's... Um, 60 cars you can fit in there, and you've also got an auto shop you can buy in there as well. If you can afford to grab it, if you can't, don't worry about that right now. That's something you can get later on. Okay, now if you come over here in your office to your assistant, you can come down here to export mixed goods. Now this one will pay out triple money, and I'll show you how to do that a bit later on in the video. But first, you're going to want to buy a uh, special crate warehouse, and how you do that is you come over here to your laptop, and you're going to need to register as a CEO before you can sit down. <laughs> and I've, it's not going to let me sit down. It does this sometimes. You've just got to get it right on the... Where are we? Sit down, will you? There we go. <laughs> right -o. Now, as you open up this laptop, there will be uh, three options. Let's have a look. So over here, you've got special vehicle work. Now, that is paying double money as well. There's some fun missions, but they don't really pay that great, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. You've got the Vehicle Cargo Warehouse, which is not discounted. Um, you come up the... Where are we? Come up the top here to all... So these are all the Vehicle Cargo Warehouses you can own. I'm pretty sure mine might be the cheapest, and mine's probably... I like the location. It's nice and close to the highway to, to do all the sell missions for. But come over here to um, Cargo Warehouses is what you want. As you can see, I've got my five all here in a line, which makes it nice and easy. You can own up to five. Um, now for some reason I can't see the small and medium because these are only large that are showing at the moment I wonder if that's because you can't um, you can't downgrade once you've owned all five large maybe I don't know but uh, small, small warehouses will hold 16 crates medium warehouses will hold 42 crates and these large warehouses that I own will hold 111 crates so what I recommend is if you don't have any to buy at least buy one small if you don't have much money because for this method, you only need space enough for nine crates. There's a small warehouse here, which will be close to your um, office if you brought the Maze Bank. The, sorry, the Maze Bank West. And I'm still just... Gee, I can't figure out why I'm not seeing the small or mediums. Just, uh, it's got it's to be because maybe you can't downgrade. Once you own five large, you can't downgrade to the, to the small or mediums. But there's a small one roughly here somewhere. And there's a medium one just to the north of it here somewhere as well. I can't remember exactly where it is, but I used to own both of those two. And to do this method I'm going to show you, it's called the nine crate method. You only need two warehouses, so they're, they're nice and cheap. You should be able to afford those. Um, yeah, so what you need to do next, if you own a terabyte, you want to park, uh, call out your terabyte and then park it in between your two warehouses. So I'll show you what to do here in a second. Also, if you own the Oppressor Mark II, make sure you park that inside your terabyte. Now, I'm down here. These are my two most southern um, large warehouses. They're nice and close to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to park the terabyte just kind of in the middle of the two warehouses. Uh, so just about here somewhere. Um, actually, on the other side, I realize the, the um, Oppressor comes out on the, on, the, um, on the passenger side there. So I want to park on this side to give me more room for the... To get the oppressor in and out. So I've got the one warehouse there and one warehouse there. So I've just parked in the middle of them here. So next thing you want to do is you want to go um, <laughs> hold down right D-pad. 
There we go. <laughs> and you want to come back to your terminal at the back of your terabyte here. And open it up. And come up here to where it says special cargo. Come to three crates. And the two I'm looking at here are the furniture, or the wholesale furniture, and the um, Cypress Flats warehouse. So I'm going to start with the Cypress one. And this is going to send me out on a mission to collect three... I went with three crates because this is the nine crate method. So we want to get nine crates in each warehouse. And the reason we want to do this is because um, anything under nine, nine crates or under is no matter which um, cell mission you get, you're only ever going to get one cell vehicle. Now, when you've got more than nine crates, uh, and I can't remember the exact number, it might be up to uh, might be up to 36 or 37. It might be a little bit higher. can't remember exactly. Um, but there's a number there around the low 30, of high 30s, low 40s, around that mark somewhere, where if you're over that amount, it'll spawn a third vehicle. And it's only um, a couple of missions that do it. Um, so that's why we're sticking under nines. We only ever get that one cell vehicle, no matter which mission we get. It's only going to be one cell mission. Now there are some missions um, once you have a full, you have, you have the full 111 crates in a large warehouse that you still only get the one cell vehicle for. That is the tugboat or the Titan. If you get um, if you get the smaller planes, I can't remember what they're called. The, is it the Cuban 800? Is it? Is that the plane? I can't remember exactly. But if you get that one, that's going to be three planes you need to sell. And if you get the uh, the brocade cell missions, that's going to be uh, three vehicles as well, but um, they're all they're all doable solo. That's not an issue. I, I've, I've got a video showing you shortly um, how I did all three. Uh, sorry, I did all five warehouses, large warehouses, full in public lobbies, um, and three of them I did solo, and had had multiple vehicles for a couple of them as well. So anyway, with this um, sourcing mission, you're going to be sent out, and you're either going to have three individual crates to pick up, which means you're going to have to come out, pick up one crate if you solo this is, and go back to your warehouse, come back out again, pick up the second crate, take it back to your warehouse, then come back out, get the third crate, take it back to your warehouse. It's a pain in the neck, but it's doable. And you do this in a uh, invite-only session as well, so you don't have to have the worry about people trying to grief you or whatnot. And, um, but these, this the mission here I've got now. These are the ones you want to get preferably. Um, you don't get a choice in what you get, though, unfortunately. But this is um, all three crates are in a, in a single vehicle here, and all you got to do is go out, collect the vehicle, and drive it back. And as a solo player, they're the ones you want because you can do it much quicker. You've just got the one vehicle to drive back. And as you can see here, stored it in my warehouse, and that'll say uh, cargo delivered. And now we leave the uh, warehouse and we go back to the terabyte, making sure that we park the oppressor in the terabyte again. And we just go source another vehicle. So back over here to the terminal. And this time we're going for the wholesale furniture. Again, we go with three crates. So there we go. Click on it there. Down to three crates. And if you come down here look at Cypress Flats, you can see it's got a timer on there, a cool down period. So this is why we use two warehouses to do this. So click on wholesale furniture this time. So that's the one just north of where I've parked the terabyte. And off we go, and it's a green blip on the map, which again tells me that it's a vehicle that contains all three crates, which is good. This is the one we want to do. We don't want to get the three separate crates. If you if you come out and you see you've got a yellow blip on your map to go to, then the chances are you've got three separate crates to pick up, and that's going to be three trips out and back. Now, also, if you don't own a terabyte, you, another way of doing this quickly is to fast travel back to your CEO office. You set your spawn location to your office, and that's the reason why you purchase the um, the personal quarters, so you can spawn there. So you just spawn back to your office, and actually I'll show you, once I've um, delivered this vehicle back, I'll show you how to do it if you don't own a terabyte, just to use your office and spawning in your personal quarters. Okay, so there we go, delivered. Now go to your interaction menu and set your um, spawn location to your office, and then just go new invite only session and that'll pop you into your office. And if you do this after each cell mission, you will fast travel back to your office, and then you just go to the laptop in your office and source the crates this way. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so once you spawn into your office, come out here into your computer, your laptop, whatever it is. <laughs> it's a computer in this one, isn't it? Most, most of your businesses, it's a laptop. Anyway, sit down at the desk, log into your computer, and then we want to go over here to, where is it, up here, to Special Cargo. Bring up your warehouse map. Click on the warehouse you want to source from. So we're doing the Cypress warehouse because we just did the wholesale furniture. 
and just yeah, buy three crates there, same as you did on the terabyte, and then you can just leave your office. Now you can come over to your assistant here, and you can get any of the vehicles you own through here. If you don't own um, the Mark II or whatever, you can come here. If you own any any of the uh, Pegasus vehicles at all, like I've got here the Frogger and the Buzzard attack helicopter, whatever, you can um, request any of those. Um, the cargo bob there, <laughs> that's not going to be helpful. I'll go with a buzzard. So there you go. You can just just use this instead of um, using your terabyte. And once you've delivered the cargo, um, instead of going back to terabyte like I showed you before, fast travel back to your office the way I just showed you to do it. Okay, so what do we got here? You can stop talking now. Hang up the phone. There we go. And this is what I was talking about before. When you get the um, the orange, uh, sorry, the uh, yellow blip, it's going to be three separate um, crates that I've got to go collect. So I get down here. You've got a few enemies to take out. So you kind of you kind of want to have a weaponized vehicle. Either you, either you buzzard. Um, you could you could do it with uh, either the Hydra, I guess, or the Pyro. Um, if you've got the Mark II, though, I really recommend using using the Oppressor Mark II because it is. It's just so quicker and easier with this one. I'm just got to try and get this without landing in the water. There we go. And off I go. In fact, when I land back at the warehouse, I'm going to get my oppressor out because you'll, I've shown you that you can do it with um, other vehicles. But if you've got the, the Mark II, the oppressor Mark II, it is much easier. So there we go. Landing next to the warehouse. And I'll just walk this in on foot. And then I'll call out the oppressor Mark II and I'll go and grab the other two. This is what I was talking about. You've got to go collect all three individually. Pain in the neck. That's why you want the vehicle. So when you come back outside, I've called out my oppressor, and just go jump on and collect the other two. So we're going to skip forward. Just coming in with the third and final uh, crate here on this one now. And there we go, cargo delivered. So what I recommend is that you just repeat this process, uh, sourcing three crates at a time for both your warehouses, until you've got nine in each, and then go ahead and sell them. When you're ready to sell, come over to the laptop here in your warehouse and click on sell the top one, nine crates. And that'll put you into your cell mission. And this time we've got the boat, which is a nice, easy one to do. Nice, uh, it is quite slow though. Um, if you can, when you can afford it, pay for the upgrades for all your cell vehicles as well. You can do that inside your your um, warehouses. You just it was once off payment. Doesn't matter which warehouse you do it in, it'll cover all the vehicles for all your warehouses. Okay, so just come over here. Got a few NPCs to take them out. Take them out and. Um, I recommend doing this in a public lobby as well. Get a, get a feel for the lobby first. Make sure that it, it feels like it's a nice, safe lobby to uh, to sell in. There's not too many oppressors getting around. There's no jets getting around. There's not a lot of people dying. And you just drive this out to the location here, and it's as easy as that. And you can see there, with the high demand bonus, $378,000. And look at that. That didn't take all that long. It was probably about an hour to source all the nine crates for both warehouses and then do that sell mission. Um, so what you do next is go to your other warehouse and do the exact same thing. Walk up to the laptop here, click on the uh, sell the nine crates, and then it'll pop you into another sell mission. And this time it's the uh, Brocade sell mission. This is what I told you about, that if you um, are selling in a full, uh, a full warehouse of 111 crates, and you get this particular mission, you're going to get three vehicles. Now, you can do all three on your own. Um, if you're going to do it in a public lobby to try and get the high demand bonus, so you are going to run the risk of getting grief because you've got to leave um, two of your, your trucks very visible to everybody else in the lobby outside your warehouse. Why? Because you can't drive two, uh, you can't drive three trucks at the same time. Uh, if, you, if you don't want to risk the, the griefing, you can do it in a... In a um, invite only session but then you don't get the high demand bonus on top of it okay so this one here is just one single drop when i get to where i'm going here with this one i'm going to have to take out a heap of npcs once i get there and once i take them all out there we go last one there and that is done and you can see there once again three hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars okay so that's what i recommend you do um if you want to make quick money uh with these cargo warehouses while they're on double money this is called the nine crate method probably the uh, quickest way to do it for solo players now if you really want to want to test it out fill up your warehouses and sell them in the in a full public lobby as well i've got a video coming later showing that i did in fact sell five of my large warehouses all completely full in a public lobby that's going to come out soon um 
when I've got to get the chance to edit that video. <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, though, what I'm going to quickly show you is something else that is now paying triple money this week, and that is the export mix goods. So what you want to do is come back to your office and come up to your assistant, uh, come down here to export mix goods, and this is going to send you on a sell mission. What you're going to need to do is um, you can. I'm going to grab out my presser here. It's going to be the quickest, easiest way. Uh, I can do that through the um, assistant menu. And then you're going to just fly out to one of your warehouses. And this is another reason I have all my warehouses located where I do, because this cell mission is going to take place at the terminal. That's where I've got to deliver the vehicle to. So delivering it from any of my warehouses does not take long at all. So you can see here, right outside my warehouse, my Cypress Flats warehouse, there's a truck here. I've just got to get in it and drive this down a terminal. Uh, you may get some NPCs coming after you, but you just, just drive it down. Pull up right here in the Corona, and there we done. As easy as that. That only took a couple of minutes. And like I said, it's paying triple money at the moment. That is $150,000. Now, you can do these every 48 minutes as well. So even if you're watching this in the future, and this is no longer triple money, I recommend doing this because you're going to get $50,000 every 48 minutes. You can do this anyway. But at the moment, really jump on it because $150,000 for every 48 minutes, that's good money. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my speed cubing channel if that's something that interests you. Tutorials on there on how to solve Rubik's Cubes. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Happy gaming. Cheers.